y'all. So today is Halloween and today is the day that I picked to go to Hobby Lobby to pick up some Christmas decorations because um, I'm off today. I'm off on Mondays and it just happened to fall today. So I've been seeing these ads on YouTube about Hobby Lobby having their half off Christmas sale. So I was headed down there today, but I noticed that the last couple of days I haven't seen the sale ad anymore. So my husband finally talked me into calling first and they're not having their 50% off sale anymore, but they're having a 60% off sale. So we're almost to Hobby Lobby now. Let's check it out and see what they've got. y'all um, I'm back from Hobby Lobby now I just wanted to share with y'all all of the Christmas decor that I bought this year which I bought a good bit today at Hobby Lobby they did have that 60% off sale on their Christmas stuff and I've also made a trip to Dollar Tree Big Lots and a few trips to Walmart over the past few weeks and I did swing by Walmart today and get a few things I think I'm done now I just want to share my uh, decor with y'all also um, check out my shirt that my oldest daughter Katie got me. Anybody that knows me knows that It's a Wonderful Life is my all-time favorite movie. Christmas or not, it doesn't matter. I love that movie. Um, and I was so glad she got it for me because I needed it. And I love it. But I'm fixing to uh, show y'all everything I bought for this year for my Christmas 2022 decor haul. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Dollar Tree stuff. I'm gonna start off with the least expensive store, I think, and then kind of go up from there. Um, so Dollar Tree, I went to a few weeks ago. Everything's $1.25 now, y'all know that. And let's see what I've got here. I got this little, like a buffalo check tree made out of, I don't know, it almost looks like cut up wrapping paper. I thought it was kind of cool looking little Christmas tree there and then this is probably supposed to be an ornament but I'll probably use it to hang on the wall or something it's a little candy cane decor what else did I get okay I got the this is buffalo check deer with the little fairies and the pine cone and the little greenery on it. I'm doing a traditional Christmas this year. My colors are gonna be red, green, white, silver, and gold. And I've got a lot of the berries and the frosted berries and some pine cones. And I've got um, a lot of the buffalo check in there too. This one is a little snowflake. Kind of in a weird plaid design, not necessarily the buffalo check, but I really like it. And it's got the berries and the greenery and the pine cone on it too. I thought that was so cute. Those are ornaments. I don't know if I'll use them for ornaments or if I'll use them for some other decor, but I'll decide that later. And as I mentioned before, It's a Wonderful Life is my favorite movie. I can't believe I found this at Dollar Tree. It's a Wonderful Life sign. And it's got the wreath with the berries and everything on it. I love it. And that's all I got from Dollar Tree. Okay, I know I said I was going like cheapest to most expensive store and Big Lots did used to be one of the cheapest stores, but I'm looking in there lately and I'm feeling like I could go to Kirkland's or somewhere for some of the same prices as Big Lots, but they do still have some good stuff. 
I just picked up these two picks there. That's all I got from Big Lots. It's got the frosted berries and pine cones with a little bit of greenery on them. And I'm trying to see how much I paid for them because I forgot. I want to say that was two or three dollars. Two fifty a piece for those. They was cute. I like them. They did have a few other things I wanted, but like I said, they was a little too expensive for me for this year. Okay, moving on to what I got from Walmart. Um, I went by there today and got this stuff because I needed a few more things. I don't know if y'all remember from my video from last year. I've got like a two foot blue Christmas tree and I had it on my wine rack last year in the kitchen, but it's actually a tree that my husband bought for his shop, but he hasn't put it up there in a while. And this year I asked him, I was like, do you want to, I mean, I'll put your tree up at the shop for you this year in the office. And he was like, okay, that's fine. So I was kind of trying to get a theme going to it. Kind of like at the house, kind of a buffalo check, red and green type of thing going for it. And they didn't have quite everything I was looking for at Hobby Lobby for that. They had some stuff. So I ran by Walmart and got the rest, but I'm going to decorate his office a little bit at the shop and put that tree up there this year. And I'll film that along with my decorate video, but he's always wanted the snowman's hat on top of a Christmas tree. And this is a pick, but I was wondering, and it's the Buffalo check with the berries and the pine cone and the greenery on it. Um, I can see the price for you. Give me a second. Um, it was 98 cents at Walmart. And so, um, I thought maybe I could somehow stick it down on the top of the tree and have this part just sit at the top and it'll be like a tree topper. Normally we have this really beautiful angel on there, but I'm just trying to, you know, stick with a the theme this year. And so I thought that'll probably work for the tree topper. I think I can make it work. I'm going to try it anyway. And then I was actually looking for the little pickup truck. Um, with the tree in the back, the little red pickup truck, but they didn't have it, but they had these. I don't know if this is like a station wagon or what, but it's got the Christmas tree on top. They're little ornaments that I got for his tree. Those was 268. And then I got these black and white Buffalo check little snowman's hats with the clips on them. We can clip them to some of the branches on that little tree. And this stuff I just got more to set up like beside the tree or around the tree. It's a little nutcracker. My husband likes nutcrackers a lot. So does my youngest daughter, Candace. Um, it was two sixty eight for that. And then my husband likes trains. So this is a little, um, ooh, it's got a lot of glitter on it and he hates glitter, <laughs> but a little Santa Claus train and it was two ninety eight. And I got that stuff at Walmart, maybe, we can find somewhere to set it where it won't get moved around too much, where the glitter won't fall off of it. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to that glitter till I got home. <laughs> Stuff that I've bought like over time, over the past few weeks at Walmart. I really liked these um, ornaments here because they came with the red and the green and they've got different like shapes and different colors and textures to them. And it was, $5.98 for 26 of these, like medium sized is what I call them ornaments. And I'll probably use some on the tree. And I'm also gonna be trying to redo my wreath. I don't remember, I mean, I don't know if you remember last year, uh, I had bought a white plain wreath with just some silver ornaments on it from Five Below. And then I fixed it up with the blue like I wanted it. And I took that back apart. I'm going to put red and green and some other stuff on it this year and try to make it match um, my theme this year and my colors this year. So I might use a few of these for that. I'm not sure yet. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay. It looks like a little buffalo check gift, gift with... Uh, the pine cones and berries and all on it. I think that's supposed to be an ornament too, but I don't think I'll use it for an ornament. I think I'm gonna use it for a decoration around the house and I might even cut that string off if I do. Um, a little green Christmas tree that's flocked. That was $1.28. 
I forgot to see the price on this. This was $2.48 for that one. And then a little bag of different color Christmas trees. I was trying to go more red, but it's like a dark red, a lighter red. This one's almost into a pink, and this is like a, I don't want to say brown. I don't know what color that is. It's a light color. And those were $2.28 for four of those in a bag. And in this bag, most people that know me know that I love, love, love Volkswagen Bugs. My husband likes these old station wagons. So these ornaments are the clear ones. Two of them has the bug, two of them has the station wagon, and they've got uh, the little greenery with the fake snow on the inside. $5.98 for four ornaments. This was the first thing I picked up at Walmart this year. It looks like a bell. It's an ornament, but like I said about the rest, I don't know if I'll use it for an ornament or for a decoration yet. I've got to figure out how I want to do everything, but it's the little red pickup truck with the Christmas tree inside and two Christmas trees behind it. It's got the fake snow inside and the little greenery around it. So cute. Okay, that was all I bought that day as far as Christmas stuff went. And then one last bag from Walmart. Okay, I went to try to find a couple of things to go on that wreath I'm telling you about. And I found both of these and I had texted my husband and said, which one do you like best? And he didn't text back before I got in line. So I got both of them. And I might use one or two for the wreath and just use the rest somewhere else around the house. This says three mini ornaments and there are 268 for that. And there's three of them, red, white, and green. They look like sleighs with a little bow on it. This one says merry and bright. This one says deck the halls and joy to the world. And then these are tiny little signs. They was 268 for six of them. This one says joy, peace on earth. Holly Jolly. This one says Rejoice. Uh, this one says, ooh, ooh, I can't see it. Happy Holidays. And this one says Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. I got them both because he didn't text me back on time. They was only $2.68 a piece. And I think that's all I got from Walmart this year. Okay, now I want to show y'all what I got from um, Hobby Lobby today. This bag here, okay, this has got breakable in it, but it's just one item. I got a lot of stuff from my kitchen because I just really found a lot of cool stuff that I thought would go good in the kitchen. Um, I got these flat, little coffee mugs, glass. One says naughty, one says nice, and they're stackable. So I'm gonna try to figure out a neat way to put those in my kitchen somewhere close to my coffee, where my coffee maker is. Oh, I meant to show y'all this first. I got this little yard sign. The red truck with the Christmas tree. I want to try to show y'all some of these prices, too. I almost forgot about that. Let me get my glasses on. Okay, this one was original $24.99, so 60% off of whatever that is. So it was less than $12.50. I know that. And I forgot about these... Uh, Cups here, they were $17.99, so less than $9 for those. Um, okay, stuff that in there. Okay, I said I wasn't going to get any more ornaments after the ones I got from Walmart because I do already have ornaments here, but these were so cute. They look like candies, red and white striped candies. And there is, I thought it told how many. Okay, I don't know if it tells how many, but there's a good bit of them in there. And it says $14.99, so those was probably around $7 or less. at 60% off. These are little white bells with white ribbons, and some of them say peace, Noel, and joy. It says shatterproof too, and that said $12.99. 
So those were less than $7 probably too. I don't know if y'all notice little Mila walking around up here. She keeps trying to nap and she keeps moving around on me. Um, some buffalo check round ornaments and they've got berries and pine cones on them with some ribbon. Uh, shatterproof, there's six of those and they was $9.99 so I know I got those less than $5. Alright, I, I didn't get the dogs a big stocking this year. They're just puppies. Figured we could stick them a couple of treats or something in here and we're going to get them plenty of toys too. But it just says wolf with a little bone on it. And then it's that plaid color. They was only $4.99 regular price. So that puts them at less than $2.50 on sale. I'm just estimating giving y'all a 50% off and I know it's less than that because it was 60% off. This is a cute little gingerbread girl. I'm going to try to put her in my kitchen somewhere. She was regular $3.99, so that one would have been less than $2 on sale. I got this one for my husband's shop. It's the red pickup truck with the tree in the back, and it says Merry Christmas, like a little sign. And it was $4.49, so we know that that was less than $2.25 on sale. This was actually the first thing I picked up. It's a star. It says, all is calm, all is bright. $4.99, so I got that for less than $2.50. Another sign, I'm thinking of, I've got a, a tiered tray thing that my friend Stephanie bought me for my birthday. It actually just has a spot for a candle on top and then the bottom is like the tray part that you decorate. It's not a three-tiered, but still, I wanna to try to decorate that. And I found these little three-tiered decorations. These, this sign says, believe in the magic of Christmas. And it was $2.99 regular. So I got it for less than $1.50. This one, I'm not sure where I'll put yet, but it says Merry Christmas. And it's got the little glittery Christmas trees. I love that. And it was, um, $3.99, so that was less than $2 on sale. And here's a little hanging. You could use it for an ornament or a sign. I'll probably use it for just a little sign. And it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And it's got the buffalo check design. And this one, there's glitter on everything. <laughs> this one was $4.99, so less than $2.50 on sale. Um, and... I got this for my husband's uh, office in his shop just to set kind of by the tree because this is probably too heavy to actually hang on his tree, but it's a little toolbox, a little Christmas toolbox ornament. I thought that was so cute for the shop. And I probably won't put this on my tree because it's not long enough and I just got one, but it's a fake popcorn and cranberry garland. I'm going to find somewhere around the house to put that. I don't know where yet. I can't wait to start looking around and deciding where I want to put everything. This was $8.99, so it was less than $4.50 on sale. Maybe next year I can get another one or two and eventually put them around one of the trees. We're thinking about another puppy, not quite sure yet, but uh, my husband's looked at some more German Shepherds and my friend April at work her dogs just had Rottweiler puppies, so we're going to probably go look at those. So if we end up with a third puppy before Christmas, I'll have to go back and get one more of those little puppy stockings. Okay. Okay, there's some cute, all this stuff is so cute. I mean, I could literally spend like $5,000 in Hobby Lobby, no problem. I love Christmas. Christmas is my absolute favorite thing ever. This is a little... Buffalo check tree skirt for my husband's tree at the shop. And that tree, we I don't think we've ever actually even had a tree skirt for it um, because it's so small. I think I'll, I just, I know last year for sure, I just used garland and put it around the bottom of the tree for a skirt. But now we've got an actual tree skirt and it was $9.99. So that means this was less than $5 on sale. All right, I love this tree. My husband liked it too when I showed him. Red and white, almost sort of, 
I guess it reminds me of candy cane stripe, but they're not diagonal. Still so cute, and it was only $8.99, so less than $4.50 on sale. I love that. That's so cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mention Love Meg. She's not on YouTube anymore, but I have watched her show how she puts ribbons in her Christmas tree, and I really want to try it this year. So I got the buffalo check, and this one's got greenery with red and white different types of ornaments on it. So pretty. Um, they was $10.99 a piece. So less than $5.50 a piece. I don't know if that's a good deal or not because I've never bought ribbon like this before, but I really want to try to put it on my tree the way she did. And if it don't work out, I can always use it for something else. And practice makes perfect. So maybe, maybe I'll get good at it. Who knows? I think I'm going to use this on that uh, little tiered stand thing I told you about in the kitchen. It says, Merry Christmas. It's a little rolling pin. And it was $3.99, so it's less than $2 on sale. This is a little ladder. I thought I might could somehow rig up on that stand or near the stand. It's got the green on it that says Merry and Bright and the little buffalo check bow. And it was $3.99, so less than $2. Um, I'm gonna share these with my husband. They're buffalo check, what looks like gifts, little presents. And I'm gonna put some under his little tree at the shop and I might scatter a couple around the house or do something with them around here. $4.99, so less than $2.50 on sale. And my husband and my youngest daughter likes nutcrackers. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but $2.99 for four of these little ornament nutcrackers that I bought for his little tree. Okay, we got one last bag, and I think this was more of the breakable stuff that I bought. So they got it wrapped up for me. This is gonna be for the little tear stand in the kitchen. It looks like a little milk jug with a little red and white, uh, like rope tie on it. A little white milk jug looking. I think it looks like a milk jug. Um, and then, Okay, we'll do this next. This is for the kitchen also. Like a little coffee mug. It's supposed to be an ornament, but I'm not going to use it for that. It's got red glitter on top. A bee, Miss Vicky bee. And then the buffalo check trim around that. So cute, just a little one, just for decorations. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all the prices. This one was. $5.99, so less than $3. Let's see how much the milk jug thing is. $3.99, so less than $2 for that. They did have some bigger ones that actually said milk, but I wasn't sure how big I could put something on that tray because this would be my first year working with that. So I went with the smaller one. And I want y'all to kind of see these at the same time. I couldn't pick whether I wanted red or green. So I got both. You can put a little candle in there, but it's got the greenery, the berries, and it's kind of frosted on the greenery, and it's got the little pine cones, like a little candle holder. These were $7.99 each, so less than $4 a piece. Oh, I thought that was it. I got a couple of more bags over here behind Miss Mila. Let me get this wrapped up and I'll show you those. Okay, this is just one last bag. I got several different kinds of picks I want to show y'all. Is that it? Nope, one more. Okay. For starters, I went ahead and got two of these little pine cone picks. I don't know if I'm going to use these picks on the tree or somewhere else, but we'll find out. And that was $1.99 a piece, so less than a dollar a piece for those. This one was so cute. It's got the greenery, the berries, the pine cones, a little frosting on it with two buffalo check trees. And it was $3.99, so less than $2 for that one. I got one. This is super glittery. <laughs> 
one silver, uh, really just pine cones, and this little what's supposed to be greenery, but it's silver. Dollar ninety nine, so less than a dollar. And then, I don't know y'all, these look like berries to me, but they're red and white. I thought they were cute. Um, $1.99, less than a dollar for those. Okay, let's see here. Some of this stuff I wanna show y'all kinda of together, because one thing in particular, just the two things in here go together. Uh, this is gonna go in my kitchen. It says Christmas calories don't count. <laughs> and it's got all the little good treats on it. The coffee and the cupcakes, gingerbread man, candy. That's so cute. Oh, how much is this? I almost forgot again. $12.99. So I got that for less than $6. It's a little sign. I think it was worth it. These are tiny little Christmas trees. And it comes with red, blue, green, white, gold, maybe a lavender color. I'll definitely this year use the red, the green, and the gold, and we'll go from there. Oh, and the white. I'll figure out something to use them for. Those are super glittery too. There's glitter in the bottom of the bag. Um, Looks like I'm going to be tossing glitter around like kindness this Christmas. <laughs> My husband hates glitter. <laughs> anyway, $3.99, so less than $2 for those. And, oh, I got so many cute little signs. I'm going to show you this thing that goes that I want to put together last, but this is going to go in the kitchen. It says Cookie Station. Got the little gingerbread man with these little white beads on it. So cute. $3.99. So less than $2 for that. I'll go ahead and show you this one because that'll be for the kitchen. Possibly for the three, for the little tiered tray, but I'm not sure yet. It says, oh snap. And it's got the little gingerbread man on it. And I go around saying, oh snap all the time. So that goes with me. $3.99. Less than $2 on sale. This is a little thing that I thought we could put somewhere close to one of our manger decorations. It was $6.99, so less than $3.50 on sale. It's a cross, and it's actually got the little manger scene at the bottom. And it says, O holy night, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord, Luke 2.11. I thought that was so cute because it's got the little scene and everything on it. All right, this is the last thing. Don't know where I'm going to put it around the house yet. But it's a sign with the buffalo check, snowflakes, and it says merry and bright. And then I got this little deer buffalo check sign. I thought I could put them together somewhere. The deer's got the berries and the pine cones and the greenery on it. And... The deer was $10.99, so less than $5.50. And this little sign was $11.99, so less than $6. And I think, I think that's all that I got this year. But I think that's enough. What do y'all think? I went a little bit crazy, especially at Hobby Lobby, but I've got tons of other decorations in the attic. Our attic's half full of Christmas decorations. So I'm gonna be getting the Christmas decorations down slowly over the next couple of weeks and my tree and figuring out what I wanna use and what I don't wanna use. I know I got a lot of traditional stuff up there that I'm gonna put out again. I've got some Wonderful Life ornaments and a couple of other Wonderful Life decorations that I always put out when I do my traditional colors. 
And so I hope y'all will come back and watch that. That decorate with me video is probably going to go up somewhere between the week before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving because I want to have it up definitely by Thanksgiving. And that clean my pantry video that I promised y'all this week had to be put off to next week because I sold my china cabinet and that thing hasn't been moved in at least 12 years and I had to take everything out of it that's been in there. The kitchen's just a mess. So I've got to get that cleaned up before I can do my pantry and who knows that might be another video for y'all if I can get it done right. Anyway, little Miss Diva Mila was sleeping over here the whole time. I don't know if you really noticed her much, but she's so tired because it's her bedtime. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all uh, will come back and watch my Decorate With Me video and see what I end up doing with all this stuff because I'm so excited. I love Christmas. And... We'll see you next week on the next one. Y'all have a good day. Bye.